Hello, and welcome to Ingenuity Classroom today. We're discussing the TR5 project, one of the most anticipated infrastructure developments in the Philippines, designed to enhance regional connectivity in Bicol. As Typhoon Christine recently wreaked havoc on Bicol's transportation system, the delayed TR5 project serves as a reminder of how crucial infrastructure projects are in bolstering our preparedness and resilience during natural disasters. The TR5, Toll Road 5 project, is part of the Philippine government's broader vision to improve transportation infrastructure, specifically designed to connect the Bicol region more efficiently with Metro Manila. Envisioned as a four-lane expressway stretching approximately 420 kilometers, the TR5 would run from Lucena, Quezon, to Matnog, Sorsogon, passing through several municipalities in Bicol. This project aims to shorten travel time significantly, improve road safety, and provide Bicol's residents with faster and more reliable access to the rest of Luzon. The TR5 project, spearheaded under the Build, Build, Build program initiated during President Rodrigo Duterte's administration, represents a substantial investment in Bicol's future. With an estimated cost of PHP 146 billion, it stands as one of the largest infrastructure projects in the country. The toll road has been planned to include multiple interchanges, access points, and toll plazas, allowing for streamlined movement across regions and contributing to local economic growth by enhancing trade and tourism. Originally, the TR5 project was set to break ground in 2018, with a targeted completion date by 2025. The project's proponents include the Department of Public Works and Highways, DPWH, in collaboration with private sector implementers, particularly San Miguel Corporation, SMC, known for its role in developing major toll infrastructure, the TR5 was intended to be a flagship initiative, supporting the goal of seamless connectivity from Metro Manila to Bicol and beyond. However, the timeline has been repeatedly pushed back, with major segments still unfinished. This delay has prevented the anticipated benefits from reaching the communities that would rely on this infrastructure. Several factors have contributed to the delay in the TR5 project. These include right-of-way acquisition issues, environmental impact assessments, and funding reallocations. Securing the vast land necessary for the expressway has been complicated by legal challenges and disputes with landowners. Additionally, concerns over the environmental impact in certain protected areas in Bicol have led to prolonged assessment periods, requiring adjustments to the proposed route. Furthermore, recent budget realignments have caused setbacks as funds initially allocated for the TR5 had to be diverted to immediate pandemic responses and relief efforts. These delays have left the Bicol region vulnerable to the impacts of natural disasters. Typhoon Christine, for instance, exposed the lack of robust infrastructure in Bicol, as the absence of an efficient road network made evacuation, rescue, and relief operations more challenging. During Christine, key roads in Camarines Sur and Albay were inundated and became nearly impassable, highlighting how critical the TR5's completion is for disaster preparedness. The delay in TR5's completion has had significant repercussions for Bicol's residents, who experience the brunt of typhoons every year, the expressway was designed not only to provide faster travel, but also to offer a lifeline during emergencies, ensuring continuous flow and access to essential services. With the main transportation routes rendered impassable by floods and landslides during Typhoon Christine, it became evident that the existing road infrastructure is not enough to support a fast, reliable response. For instance, Relief supplies and rescue teams were delayed in reaching affected towns in Albay and Camarines Sur due to flooded and damaged roads. Moreover, the absence of TR5 has compounded Bicol's economic challenges as businesses suffer from unreliable transport links that deter investors and stunt regional development. The resulting economic stagnation has made it more difficult for local governments to fund their disaster preparedness initiatives, further affecting the region's resilience. Despite the delays, there is renewed interest in resuming and accelerating the TR5 project to address these vulnerabilities. San Miguel Corporation has expressed its commitment to pushing forward with the construction, subject to resolution of the right-of-way and environmental issues. The DPWH is also working on accelerating the implementation process, especially in light of recent disasters that underscore the need for the TR5 as a crucial infrastructure component for Bicol's safety and development. 
the completion of the TR-5 could be transformative for Bicol. In the event of future typhoons or other natural disasters, it could provide a reliable corridor for evacuations and emergency response, saving lives and minimizing disruption to the economy. The project is also expected to create thousands of jobs, stimulate local industries, and promote tourism by providing a more convenient gateway to Bicol's scenic and cultural destinations. The ongoing TR5 project is more than just an expressway. It's a symbol of hope for a more resilient, connected, and prosperous Bicol region. As the impacts of climate change continue to bring severe weather events like Typhoon Christine, investing in infrastructure that can withstand such challenges is paramount. Picolanos deserve infrastructure that not only supports their day-to-day -day lives, but also stands ready to protect them in times of crisis. What are your thoughts on this issue? Should the TR5 project be prioritized, given the recent impacts of Typhoon Christine, or do you think other initiatives should take precedence? Let us know in the comments below.